I'm Jason Lee. I'm the forum director for the Healthcare Forum at the Open Group, and I'm very excited about what we're doing now. We have recently completed the development of a, uh, a broad healthcare reference architecture, and we're using Archimate to build that out and make it uh, usable in a variety of uh, uh, stakeholder domains in healthcare. We've also recently become the steward of the FIM, the Federated Health Information Model. We are very excited to have uh, been engaged with the World Economic Forum and its sponsors, its industry sponsors, and its collaborators. We just had a meeting in The Hague last week and talked about how do we standardize outcome measures for patients, because that's what patients really care about. What's the outcome? Standards development organizations and software developers who work for hospitals and payer systems, they don't have to keep building fire profiles over and over and over again. Instead, they could use the FIM, the Federated Health Information Model, or some other information model that has standards binded to, the, to it, to the information components therefore making the profiles reusable. Right now, FHIR, as fantastic as it is, is producing over 10,000 profiles that are not easily reusable. And so we feel like we have a significant contribution to make working with HL7 and other standards organizations globally. Driving this work is the focus on value-based care. For decades, the healthcare system has paid physicians and clinicians and people in allied healthcare services according to what's called a fee-for-service system. You do one thing, you get paid for one thing. The new idea that has been some time in coming, but that has very broad support, is that we should be paying for value. We should be paying for keeping people out of the hospital, not returning to the hospital within six months after they've had a heart attack, for example. Those are the drivers for payment rather than volume of services provided. And this applies globally. The problem with healthcare is that it consumes a great deal of GDP, no matter where you are. In the United States, the number is approaching 20%. In developed countries, it's 10%. There's no place where healthcare doesn't consume less than 10%, and that number's growing. And it's not sustainable. So something needs to change, and that's what we're focused on. Recently, the Healthcare Forum became the new steward from the FIM. We've been working with the US federal government for a little over a year to transition this resource, this asset, this standard, to the open group and we have convened experts to help us think about what is the value proposition for this significant resource that the government has spent a lot of money and a lot of time on and how we can move that forward. What we've learned and what we've decided is that the FEM is not well understood. For that reason we've developed a website that really explains the FEM in terms that different audiences can understand. We've got an animation that explains the film to managers who don't have the time or the energy or even sometimes the background to understand the details that enterprise architects might be interested in. The address is www.fhim.org. What's kind of neat about this website is it's put together in a modern way. We begin with the phrase, got flow, which is very consistent with the open group's byline of boundaryless information flows. And we apply it to healthcare. Do you have as an organization the ability to encourage the flow of information? Because in healthcare organizations, that is what is responsible for lower quality care than what could be achieved. What's shocking in healthcare is that in the United States alone, the third leading cause of death 
is medical errors. Many of those could be avoided if information flowed to where it's needed, when it's needed, and for whom the patient it's needed.